We discussed so many things about blood pressure. But have you ever wondered where exactly does that pressure come from? In this video, we will talk about factors that generate pressure in circulation. Welcome to nonstopneuron.com where learning medical concepts is as easy as watching cartoons. Let's get started. There are four fundamental factors that generate pressure in the circulation. These are gravity, low compliance of vessels, the viscosity of the blood and inertia. We will see them one by one. First, gravity. We know about the hydrostatic pressure, right? Gravity pulls water downwards which generates pressure on the water that is deep. The pressure increases as we go deeper and deeper. Similar thing is seen in our body too. Blood in our blood vessels make a continuous column of fluid. So gravitational pull on the blood generates pressure on blood at the lower parts of the body. And here also pressure increases as we go lower and lower in the body. The reference level to measure blood pressure is the level of heart. Here arterial pressure is about 90 mmHg and venous pressure is about 5 mmHg. As we go lower, the pressure increases. For an average 180 cm tall person, a foot lies 130 cm below the heart. This deep column of blood creates extra 95 mmHg pressure. So at the foot, arterial pressure is 90 plus 95 is equal to 185 mmHg and venous pressure is 5 plus 95 is equal to 100 mmHg. As we go above the heart, the pressure decreases. The top of the head lies about 50 cm above the level of the heart. Because of this, the pressure here are about 37 mmHg less than at the level of the heart. So arterial pressure is 90 minus 37 is equal to 53 mmHg and venous pressure is 5 minus 37 is equal to negative 32 mmHg. Yes, negative. Because the pressure at the head is lower as compared to the reference pressure at the level of the heart. Now although the absolute pressure at different levels varies, the driving pressure for blood flow is uniform for the entire body. For example, at the level of the heart, arterial pressure is 90 mmHg and venous pressure is 5 mmHg. So driving pressure across vascular bed is 95 minus 5 is equal to 85 mmHg. At the foot, this pressure is 185 minus 100 is equal to 85 mmHg, same as the level of the heart. And for the head, it would be 53 minus negative 32, again 85 mmHg. Thus, driving pressure is uniform throughout the body. Now, of course, all of this is for standing position only. When a person is lying down, the height difference from the heart is negligible. So the entire body is assumed to be at the level of the heart and gravity does not produce much change at different levels of the body. Another exception occurs at the veins of the limbs, even in standing position. They have one way valves that allow the blood to flow only upwards. When closed, they prevent the blood above the valve from producing pressure on the blood below the valve. It's like they break the blood column intermittently. Please note that I am showing these gaps only as a metaphor to emphasize the break in the blood column. In reality, the closed valve itself is the only gap in the blood column. So this was gravity. Now compliance of vessels. Compliance in simple words is the distensibility of a material. More compliant materials are more distensible, like balloons. As we feel air in the balloon, its volume increases. And as it is distending, the pressure inside does not rise much. On the other hand, less compliant materials are less distensible, like a tube of tires. As we feel air inside the tube, it does not distend much, but the pressure rises more. In terms of compliance, Blood vessels range from being balloons to tubes. Vessels are more like balloons with high compliance. With increasing volume, they distend more with less rise in pressure. Arteries are more like tubes with lower compliance. With increasing blood volume, the distension is less but the pressure rise is more. Thus, low compliance of a vessel generates pressure when the blood volume increases. So this was about compliance. 
Next factor is the viscosity of the blood. Viscosity in simple words is the resistance of a fluid for movement. When there is a flow, the blood resists to move due to its viscosity. This resistance generates pressure. The higher the viscosity, the higher the pressure. So this was about viscosity of the blood. Finally, we have inertia of blood and vessels. Here pressure energy is generated from conversion from other forms of energy in the blood. Let me explain. We know from physics that things tend to move from high energy to low energy state. Blood is no exception. As the blood is flowing through the vessel, it is in fact moving from high energy to low energy state. Now this total energy is made up of kinetic energy and pressure or potential energy. Interconversion between these two forms of energy can increase or decrease pressure. For example, when blood passes through a constricted vessel, its velocity increases. Here pressure energy is getting converted into kinetic energy. So pressure falls and velocity increases. In dilated part, velocity decreases. Here kinetic energy gets converted to pressure. So velocity falls and pressure increases. Thus conversion from kinetic energy generates pressure. Needless to say, the kinetic energy is originally imparted to blood by the heart as it pumps it. So this was about inertia. That completes all the factors that generate pressure. Let's have a quick summary. Gravity causes hydrostatic pressure difference at different levels of the body when we are in upright position. Low compliance of a vessel causes pressure to increase when there is an increase in blood volume. Viscosity of the blood increases pressure when there is a flow. And finally, pressure can generate from conversion from kinetic energy of the blood. That's it for this video. If you feel this video will help your friends and colleagues, please share it with them too. And don't forget to subscribe because lots more to come. At Nonstop Neuron, learning medical concepts is as easy as watching cartoons. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.